the reason the, uh, the frequency was changed, there's a lot of areas that have heavy heterodyne on channel 13. And if you are in that area, that's why the only reason that we didn't go to channel 13. Hey, copy on that, Rear Rear. What, uh, we got uh, 182's going to call up here. I'm sure I'm bleeding the hell out of him. And uh, Grover going to be up here shortly. All right, 10-4. And uh, how about that, Mr. 101 up there in Allentown? Do you have a grip? Uh, yeah, I got a grip. I got a grip. Yeah, 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 I got a grip. No copy on uh, 101. Uh, let's see. How about Ranger down there in Limerick, Pennsylvania? You got that radio on, Ranger? Ranger don't, but Sparky does. All right, Sparky, let's have it. Let's hear. Uh, let's hear your spiel. All right, 10-4, we're just trying to get in there, talk to Rare Bear, Sparky 775, Spring Mount Ski Area, just working the radio. It sounds good here, Sparky, as usual. Uh, Speedy, how about Speedy up there in Allentown? This ought to be a good station. Come on, Speedy, let us know what you got. Speedy says he'll be in a little bit. He's leaving my location. Okay, Speedy's going to take a standby. He's en route to somewhere where he can talk a little bit better. Uh, squirrel, one-eyed squirrel down in Williamstown, New Jersey. Do you have your radio on? Thank you, Squirrel. Uh, you guys, please don't key up, because I'm copying guys that you can't hear, and if you key up saying hello to me, I cannot hear the people that are raising their hand there for uh, uh, for this roll call. That was Squirrel, One-Eyed Squirrel, down there in Williamstown, New Jersey. You're sounding good. I don't have the antenna up at the present time, as I said earlier. It's raining uh, pretty hard up here. There were a couple lightning flashes here. But hopefully in a little while, if this rain subsides, I can put an antenna up and it'll be a lot easier uh, talking and receiving. Roger. Thank you, Squirrel. How about you, Bubba? Bubba up here in uh, Walnutport. You got that radio on, Bubba? Say hello. I guess the Allentown boys either can't copy me or they're doing something right now. So uh, let's try one more time for Hard Start down there in Williamstown. How about it, Hard Start? How about Renegade in Westchester? You on the mail. Break, break, break. Don't put any antennas up in a thunderstorm. 104 out of Exeter, Pennsylvania. Did you say 104 in Exeter, Pennsylvania? Is that what my radio said? That's what your radio said. You got JJ on this end. 104 out of Reading, Pennsylvania. We're a couple miles from the Pagoda, the Pagoda in Reading, but we are in the valley and we are in a low, low, low position. You are very, very loud in my radio anyway. You may be in a low location outside that right in the Reading area, but where I am located, I have a very good copy on you, JJ. Thanks for the roll call. We'll be talking at you shortly. Hello? Hello, hello. Yeah, copy that, Jay. Yeah, we got a lot of mosh going out of this 148. Not a big signal, but a lot of mosh. And we'll be standing by listening to your group. Okay, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going through some of the people that I know. Uh, some of the guys I have been calling have not been on the air. Let me ask, uh, oh, geez, any, about one, uh, 135 down here in uh, Wilmington. How about it, Hammer? Do you have it on? Yeah, I know 42. You're loud as a 12 o'clock whistle. Zero 
1053 wants to say hello. I need your location, your antenna, and your radio. Come on. I've got a Texas, uh, uh, Texas Ranger 696F, IMAX 2000. I'm in Hunterdon County, New Jersey, uh, just south of Goldsburg, near Bloomsbury, south side of the ridge. Okay, you're south of uh, Bloomsbury up there. Uh, yeah, you're not. You're up there near Easton, right? No, I'm on the Jersey side. I'm over here in Hall. Oh, you're on the Jersey side. Okay, up there near. Okay, out near Phillipsburg. Okay, very good, fine and dandy. I don't have a strong signal on you, but your signal is clear and very audible on my receive here. No problem. Copying you. Thank you, man. Man, O five three Snail Trail, waving all kinds of good stuff your way. Snail trail has been a while. We'll talk about it later. I hear a lot of people out there in the distance. I'm uh, very sorry I don't have my antenna up here, but weather conditions are not permitting it. All you fellas out there that I may not be able to hear right now, uh, I'm sorry for that, but uh, we have no control over the weather, and this magna mount is doing the best it can for where we are. And there we have a station from Bethlehem. Come on. What's going on? Hey, Mr. Salmon up here in Leon Valley. Waving that away. Uh, Mr. Rip, been on a while. Mr. Sandman from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Very strong station. Very strong station. You're sounding good, Sandman. As usual, I don't think there's been a day that you haven't sounded good in my receive. We thank you for the raising the hand. Sandman, I'm sure there's going to be a lot. I want to get back to you tonight up there in Bethlehem, PA. Yep, Mr. Rubin, always a pleasure, man. Uh, yeah, you sound like you're going to get about five pounds on you up here. Oh, man. Good job, sir. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm all screwed up here. Sandman for sure. I think I heard Snowman down there. Did I hear Snowman? Snowman, 495, Sinkin' Springs. 495, Sinkin' Springs. Wow, that's a loud station. I'm sorry. I thought I had you mixed up with somebody down the line called Snowman. First time I've ever tried one, and uh, there's a lot, a lot of room for improvement, I'm sure, because first time I ever did this, I had no idea what the hell I'm doing. But anyway, we're all out here tonight, have our radios on, there's not much going on right now around around the area, you know, we're all, we're all uh, in uh, being safe as we can anyway. But the CB radio here is, uh, comes to play a little bit, it takes a little bit of the... Uh, dullness away from uh, maybe the home activities if you don't have anything going on there. So that's why we're out here tonight. Copy that, I did. Yeah, I'll be doing the same. I'll be hanging around. Hey, till then, be cool and I'm clear. We thank you for the comeback. 524 on the frequency. Mr. 524, go ahead. This is Blue Max at all. I'm on a... Uh, a Roy 621 with a uh, homemade copper pipe J pole. And what is your call sign again? 521. Mr. 521. Okay. Well, that homemade operation air is definitely working. You are loud and clear in my receive. My present location. Uh, let's see, if you know where Boyertown, Pennsylvania is, I am maybe a, oh, a good five miles away from Boyertown, Pennsylvania, maybe ten miles north of Pottstown. I am located halfway between Allentown, Pennsylvania and Reading, Pennsylvania, just about halfway. Say that again. All I heard was 705. Where are you? What kind of antenna are you running? West Coastville. And uh, 
uh, we got a Mako 5 8 wave. You are in West Coastville and you're running a Mako 5 8 wave. Stand four, it's Fight Buster. It's what? Fight Buster. Yeah, there's somebody else way out there in the distance, Key, and I missed that part, but we did get the most important part. You're sounding good over here for sure tonight. You sound a lot better between these range offs if it would only stop, but it probably won't. Rare bear, that's Bite Buster. B I T E or B Y T E, Bite Buster. That way, but hello. I thought it was that, but I didn't want to say it incorrectly and insult the guy. Bite Buster. B Y T E. Buster, there you go. Hey, I'm sorry, it's not 521, it's 524 down here in Holy. I apologize, I got excited. Don't we all? Okay, we're on the side. 2112, Frenchtown, New Jersey. Mr. 2112, Frenchtown, New Jersey. 2112, if you say that backwards, it's the same thing as a frontwards. My old friend, 2112, how in the world are you? And my F for equipment, I'm running a Rare Bear 2000, Cobra 2000, and uh, Joe Gun 4 Star. Mr. Rare Bear, good to hear you, man. It's been a while. It has been. We need to get together more often on the radio here, that's for sure. You're always sounding good with what you got, and I'm very jealous of that damn suburban you got. Oh, baby. Oh, uh, we're at home now. We're at home, but uh, yeah, the suburban's been uh, been kind of sidelined for a bit. Just been uh, busy doing other things. But anyway, I'm gonna let this thing roll on through. Mr. Rear Bear, 2112, Frenchtown, New Jersey. I'm back out listening. 2112 in Frenchtown, New Jersey. You're always sounding good. Thank you for coming on the air tonight. Somebody give me a shot I haven't called yet. Deer Slayer, Perky Omenville, Pennsylvania. You must be under a rock down there, are you? Yeah, it's a very hard copy for some reason on that Perky Omenville station. You ought to be coming in here and uh, a little bit better, but I understand. How about that renegade Westchester? Are you on the air yet? Well, don't just say, how about a rare bear? Give me your number of your call sign. Uh, 42 down here in the garden. I'm on, a, I'm on, a, on team 227 over here trying to get back to you. All right, if anybody stays off the key, maybe we'll hear him. Come on, 227 in Jersey. Hello, Rare Bear. 227 in Jersey. Jersey is hard for straight home. Uh, somebody came in on top of you, but I did hear you in there. I did hear you with your call sign when you first came in. Maybe that fellow will uh, hear me out there and stay off the key for just a second. 227, bring it back one more time. What is your uh, location? Stray dog coming in down here in New Jersey. Okay, I guess that's all 227 had to say. Oh, you are located <laughs> down near Hard Start. Is that a Roger? Uh, ten four. You're down near the one-eyed squirrel, also. Ten four. Well, we're within a quarter mile of each other, so. Uh, and uh, one eighty-two is to the north, about four miles. Okay. Is one eighty-two on the air now? Uh, one eighty-two is on there. How about the reading area? Do we have somebody from the reading area copying the mail?
495, roger that. Is there anybody else in your area up there, do you know? Yeah, we spoke to him. Where's that mud duck to, uh, Willie? No, no, he's probably taking a nap. You're probably right. He's probably sleeping past his bedtime. Yeah, it's after 8 o'clock. What's that? Is this your rare bear? Well, yes, it is. By golly. Hey, I'll, I'll call Willie and tell him you're looking for him. Come on. You don't have to do that. I don't know if I'm his favorite child right now anyway, but uh, he'd be upset if I couldn't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. All right, I'm going to let others roll. Hey, rare bear, you'll be cool later. We will try. How about that Operator Ron down there in uh, Valley Forge? Operator Ron, you got your radio on? I guess not. Hello, man. Hello, who's that? The Birdman out of the mobile up at Speedy's 20. Sitting on a Galaxy PX 980 VHP with a 05000 Magnum L. Uh, that's that Serio Magnum out is doing its job. You're up there at uh, your friend's place up there. We have no cop, no uh, no problem copying Jeffrey, the bread man. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot louder station here in a few minutes because I understand you are in Speedy's area. When Speedy keys that radio up, there's not too many that won't be able to hear him. Yeah, just dropped him off. He's gone to be turned on. But I had one more person up in this way, named Fisherman up in Sladington, down for you. Where's the old man? The old man should be on tonight up there in Sladington. I have not heard Jerry. Uh, I heard him early in the morning, but I could see if he's on at 15. That's right. Hey, you think about it? Roger that. What's that? You got 226 out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania calling you. I'm back out from Mario. I got a lot of and people down here in New Jersey are not staying off the key. The ones down here calling Super Mario. You're interfering with a lot of things up here. If you would just give us a minute or two, uh, we get this long distance thing going on here. We would appreciate it very much. Go ahead, Lancaster. I cannot hear Lancaster at all. Train wreck. Try it again, it was a double key. Is out there we didn't get yet. Come on, say hello. I'm on the Yes, I certainly do have a copy on 24. Hello, 24. Where are you and what do you have? How's it going there, I'm on On a Connex HP with an Antron antenna up there in Copley, PA. It's right outside of a little bit north of the Allentown. Roger. 10 4 we're there, about 10 miles. 10 miles north of Allentown. 10 miles north of Allentown. You must have turned the button on. You must have turned the button on, did you? Just a little more, come on. Yeah, all of a sudden you got really, really loud. Is that 326? Bring it again. 326. Lancaster PA, checking in. 
Mr. 326 in Lancaster, checking in. We've got a grip on you now. What kind of antenna are you using? And what's the radio you're talking off of? Uh, IMAX 2005 and Navajo 458. Go ahead. Navajo 458 and an IMAX. Doing a good job up here. Thank you much for the check-in. And uh, it'll be 326 standing by. 10-4 and a 326. Hey, Bear. Yeah. we got two people up here. One in an 18-wheeler trying to check in. And fishermen up in place Okay, if everybody will stay off the key just for a minute, we got some fellows way out there. I don't know if you all can hear him or not. It's uh, right up in the Allentown area. So go ahead, Jeffrey, with those guys. copy on that. You might try it one more time. can, but it's kind of muffled up from where he is. If I had my antenna up here, I'm sure I would have no problem with him. What's that other fellow that Jeffrey wanted to uh, throw his hand up here? Is that you, old man? I thought that was old man from Sladington, but I guess not. We need some Delaware stations coming in here. How about some Delaware stations? Anybody down there got the radio on? Come on. What's that? Down, down, 13. Uh, somebody ought to tell them we're up here. I guess they didn't, they didn't know that we changed the channels. Twenty-five seventeen with an IMAX. Sounds awful strong. Sounds great. Appreciate it. Right back. Channel twenty, stand by for just a second. I have to get down to channel thirteen and tell them fellas we are up here. Breaker Channel 13. I was going to announce it there. You can go back up. Channel 13. We got a roll call up on Channel 20. The frequency got changed. If you're interested in the roll call, we are up on Channel 20. Thank you. Okay, well. If somebody want to raise their hand that hasn't before? Go ahead, Breaker. Anybody can hear me out there on 403 in the western edge of the garden. Nobody can. Mr. 403 on the western end of the garden. Is that what my radio said? Well, good evening. I'm the one with the live stream going out there. Well, good evening to you. I didn't know we had one. Yeah, just hop on uh, YouTube and look up AM Maniacs. I got a live stream going to this. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, I don't know what to do about that, except keep on going. What do you think? <laughs> I'm just going to hold it up. I'm going to hold up my end until I get to my receive craps out because... I got one hell of a bit of interference that comes through in my area, so we're going to keep the live stream going so I can't hear nobody no more. Where uh, where on the west side are you located? Uh, like right dead central. I'm probably about 20 miles uh, south of Easton, but in the New Jersey side. Just tell him you're near me. He knows where I am. Oh, there you go. Right near 2112. 
Oh, you're near 2112. Okay, Roger. Have you heard uh, anybody from the Doylestown area, like Uncle Albert, or any of them guys out there yet? Uh, not yet. I just got up here. Ah, uh, 10-4. Yeah, the original thought was to go on Channel 13, and a couple of guys were saying they have a lot of hexadine on 13. They asked if they could move it, but I guess they didn't put it on the Quad State uh, site down there that we were moving the frequency up to Channel 20. Yeah, I didn't know it until, uh, until I was told down there that it got moved up, so <laughs> here we are. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Yeah, go ahead. Hello, Mr. 135, top side of Delaware. What antenna are you running, and what radio are you running tonight? Hey, Renegade, you finally made it on board. Glad to have you, young man. Good, so I can't stay too long. I'll be right back. I just want to get in there and wave and say uh, hi to everybody. I heard uh, we switched it up to Channel 20. What antenna are you running, and what radio are you on right now? I'm on a Superstar SS 158 FB4 with an Antron. Oh, Antron. <laughs> IMAX 2000. 575 Mike. Sounded good coming out of Westchester. Thank you for being up on the hill tonight, Bear. Very appreciate it. I really wish the rain would stop. I really do. Just a little bit. I only need about eight minutes to put that antenna up, and it's raining pretty good. And uh, I'm not going to take that chance just yet. You got that right. Mr. 125 is what my radio heard very faintly. Bring it back. Mr. 125, I'm waiting. I just talked to him. Where's Hard Start? I can't get a whole Hard Start yet down there in Williamstown, New Jersey. Anybody out there we haven't spoken to yet? How about your rear bear? How about your rear bear? Toy pack down here. Sound good down here in Bluebell. 0127 around Bluebell. Stand by that first station. 127 Bluebell came in. 127 Bluebell. What kind of antenna are you running? What radio are you talking off of tonight? You got me an RCI 2950 with IMAX 2000. A lot of IMAX is okay out here. Thank you for the comeback. All right, uh, the other fellow came in here. Uh, bring it back again. Uh, 476, check it in. 476, check it in. Okay, two of you keyed up at the same time, but I heard 476. 476, antenna and radio, where you at? I got a Lincoln C Plus and a uh, 899 on the roof. A Lincoln? Radio and an A99 in a roof. What's your 20? Broomall, Pennsylvania. You're down there in Broomall, Pennsylvania. Thank you. 
That's correct, Bechtelsville. The trains, the trains are bothering people. Yeah, I know, I live by one down there. <laughs> I, night train, night train, Pottstown. I haven't heard anybody but uh, Sparky on tonight. Where's night train tonight? Countywide, tell Night Train where we are. I'm sorry, bring that back. start if you could stop this rain. How's that? Uh, I don't need, uh, I don't, it don't matter. It's an indoor party. It's an indoor party and I've got my drink and I'm ready to go. I heard that. You're not going anywhere. You're going to stay put. You got a, you got your own private thing going on there and that's a good thing tonight. I thought maybe Sparky would be on. I, I don't really know, man. I don't really know where anybody else is. I, like I said, I was uh, tied up until just about now, but I was definitely going to make time to get in here. And I thought at 8 o'clock it might be a little messy, so I, I didn't mind giving it a little bit of time. I heard that. Things are So far, I think things are going well for me because everybody is being courteous. And there's not much, of, not too much of a train wreck out here tonight, and uh, that's a good thing. You got my brother-in-law, 64, up there with you? Hey, be careful, no. down there for sure. No problem copying that thing, Ray. And you are where Sting Ray exactly? I got a train wreck here again. Hey, we supposed to be telling you what we're using for a radio there, Rare Bear. Well, what we would like to know is First of all, your handle, your location, what antenna you're running, and just the radio that you're talking off of. We want to get personal. Some fellas don't want uh, don't want everybody else to know what power and this is running, this and that. Makes no difference to me or anybody else, but that's quite all right. But we'd just like to know for other people that might not have heard you, who you are, where you are, what kind of antenna you're running, and what kind of radio. That's all. Yep, yep, just the important bits, the antenna and the radio, got, got you on the important bits, Spitfire 441 countywide radio, working the Shakespeare 740 glow on glass Panasonic chassis radio, transmitting through my IMAX 2000 at 50 feet above my ground. Are you above them trees? No, heck no, I got uh, 100 foot plus trees here, my antenna's at 50 feet. I know you do. You got some big ass trees where you live, fella. <laughs> I was wondering if you had one in the top of it, you'd have to get a helicopter to put it in your tree. 
Yeah, one of these days I'll get me a tree climber. I'll get me a tree climber up there swinging around like a monkey and get my antenna up there on the top of the tree. Come on. I heard that. I thought a tree climber would be on the air tonight. 513 is a tree climber, you know. That's exactly what I need. I just need a tree climber. All right, man, I'm going to sit on the side here a little bit. you got a whole crowd out there. It sounds like a beehive, but I'll pop back in in a bit and make a little bit of noise. I want to see who else makes it up on your antenna, see who else is around, around on the band. So let me slide into sandbag mode for a short. You're doing a good thing there, Laura Bear. Sure do appreciate it. And uh, we'll, we'll pop back in and holler at you in a bit after some sandbagging mode. Laura Bear, you're doing your thing. Johnny Wide Radio 441 to Spitfire. I thank you, Spitfire. Hey, Larry, you got a copy on this radio? Yes, I do. That's uh, that 327 up here in Bethlehem trying out this old lousy junk. Well, 327, the junk is working. It's not like your other stuff, but it's definitely working. Uh, not, don't sound too good, huh? Not as good as your other stuff, no. Some. Yeah, you got noise coming in with it, some kind of a, not really a squeal, but something like that. I think he's a little bit off frequency. Yeah, it's all fed up. Let me go make an adjustment. Yeah, someone keyed up and said maybe, or you sound like you're off frequency a little bit. Nuts and bolts, are you in there? That's what I got. I got like three down, three and a half down. Out here. All right, 10-4. Are you copying any of these stations out here? Just about everybody. Wow, that's amazing. There, you're getting them from all over the area. Is that? Yeah, this rain would cease up here a little bit. We can do a lot better with a lot of people that are farther out there because a lot of people cannot hear this magnet mount antenna where I am. That's for sure. Uh, I'm, I'm quite sure we could double what we're doing now if I ever get this antenna up. Listen up, Channel 20. Uh, the rain is still coming down, but it's coming down lightly. I'm going to attempt to put this antenna up here. Uh, so do what you got to do. Uh, give me about 15 minutes, and uh, I'll be back on here one way or the other. Be careful, my friend. You know, it's slippery when it's wet out. Uh, what's the estimated time frame? I... I hope to be back on the air in 15 minutes with the other antenna. If I don't get it up, I'll be back on just what you're hearing right now. That's a big deal. Careful, Bear. Careful, Bear. Watch yourself. Get a drink. Try that one more time with a lot of people out there. We're trying to get a hold of that person out there in Whitehall, Pennsylvania. Try it again. You're in a mobile working at Black Al Capone. Is that what my radio said?
That was going on. That's what's going on. No doubt about it, man. I can't keep in the base station. I can't got my antenna up just yet. But I can see right here in my driveway. Keep it down. 10 4. You sound very good in my receiver over here, that's for sure. Appreciate it, man. I just want to come and give out your roll call, man. I hope everybody's safe out here and doing what they need to do to stay safe. Oh, Brown Hornet, right here in Whitehall, getting down. Yeah, Brown Hornet, right here in Whitehall, getting down. Hello, Ranger. Hello, Ranger. Give me an antenna location or radio you're using, would you? Be a penetrator, no doubt. You got a penetrator, no doubt. That's right, Rare Bear. Penetrator, all aluminum. And you are in Limerick, Pennsylvania, correct? Limerick, Pennsylvania, no doubt. All right, I called for you earlier. I figured you were probably busy doing something because usually you're copying the mail. That's usually what I'm doing, but I turned the, turned the knob around and, and heard a whole bunch of fellows in there, so we thought we'd skip by the standby. Can't go wrong there, can you? No doubt. How we sounding all right? You always sound all right in mine. Very loud. Uh, a little bit on the uh, bassy side, but very, very clear. No doubt, no doubt. It must be that Turner Plus 3. Come on. Turner Plus 3, okay. Uh, rare bear. Who's calling for that rare bear way out there? Hello, 420. Hello, Mr. 420. Coyote, I heard you out there. Stand by, Coyote. Mr. 420 on your ground plane down there in Medford, New Jersey. Roger. Where's Mr. Hard Start tonight? I haven't heard start, Hard Start from Williamstown, New Jersey yet. Yes, sir. And all this is lying blue about his bare ass ground plane. To you people that have been listening to me prior, is there much difference between my magnet mount and the IMAX that I have, but it's only 10 feet off the 10 feet above my van? So, three SC-18, rare bear 200 gun. There's a difference down there. I've got two more units on you than I did before. I have three more bear on back out. Okay, that means it is working better than Roger on the transmit. Oh, that was hot there, see ya. The modulation got punchy. Tempo. Tempo or not. Yeah, I had another section of pipe here to put up, another 10 foot section. But it's raining pretty good, and I got pretty wet just putting up what I did. That's why I didn't go up another 10 feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't appreciate that. I can't get in this radio. I'm in bed. You're, you're, <laughs> you're in my radio, but I don't know about the bed part. Is there anybody out there that hasn't raised their hand yet? Who's New Jersey checking in? Who, who's that New Jersey station out there checking in? Who is that? We got that uh, 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 in my hand. Oh, Good evening time, 434 New Jersey. Uh, thank you for that there. And uh, I did hear, amongst others, uh, Della Bear from Delaware. Is that what I heard in my radio? Get back and tell these people what kind of antenna you're running and what kind of radio you're running and exactly where you are down there in Delaware. IMAX 2000 again. I heard that I did. You're doing good up here, Della Bear from Delaware. Thank you. We're at 434 in the guard, raise the mail. Hey, 
34 to 34. Are you going to be keying on us all night? Yeah, yeah, 410, 410. That's uh, just how it happens. How it rolls. Even time down there around Barry, even time down there around Delaware, even time uh, 420. 434 to stall, boss is on the mail. 10-5 for two stations, Super Mario, South New Jersey, keyed up, and uh, Romeo here in Chatsport, keyed up. Okay, first of all, Super Mario, if you are still copying the mail, if nobody's on the key, key it up, Super Mario, down there in New Jersey. Okay, I heard that uh, Super Mario's on six, 16 lower, I think he said. If anybody wants to talk to him, Super Mario went south. Okay, who's the other guy wanted to try and make it? I don't know, but I'm shutting down, man. I'm shutting this thing down. So I'm going to bump it down one more time before I go. Mr. Brown Hornet. Brown Hornet Mobile right here, Whitehall, Pennsylvania. Me and this Galaxy DX929 is getting down. 10 4 and a Brown Hornet? 10 4 and that Brown Hornet. He's getting down, getting up, he's getting away, he's going away. I'll see you later. Thank you for the key up. Eight nine what? Mobile, you're way out there. Come on back again. I heard you barely say can I make the trip over? Come back again one more time. You are way out there in my receive. Come on. 81, New Jersey. No, you were in there, but you got knocked out. 81, New Jersey. Good evening time. What are you running down there for antenna and radio? Time 1207 Philadelphia. Mr. 1207 Philadelphia, what kind of antenna are you running, young man? And what kind of radio are you working off of tonight? I'm swarming it with the uh, uh, rear rear wheel hand at 1207 from 434. Thanks, I'll see you. I'm trying to talk off you. Stay off the damn key. I heard him, but every, every time he goes to key up, you're in there. 1207, bring it back again. <laughs> 410, 410, Roger, 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 420, I'm back out. So 420, you run 35, no. I'll be here, Jay. Uh, 135, even time again, 434. Hey, uh, 420, uh, 135 was waving a hand down here in that dollar. So why don't you wave on another channel for a couple of minutes? Copy, 135, we got a sloppy copy, 420, listen. 
Roll call is trying to give everybody a chance. When you get guys like 420 down there, wants to keep Ken to show his muscle down there, it ruins things for everybody. 420, can you just take a break for a couple of minutes? You're running here all the time. You're the big man down there in Jersey, one of them. Anyway, and we're just trying to have a thing going on tonight without having a lot of big power stations out there. This was basically uh, set up for guys that don't have a lot of power and would like to see how far they can get out. Now, when you key up your radio, it takes everything away, man. Hey, uh, 420. Hey, 420, man. Take a standby. We're trying to talk out there. Take a standby. You guys are just wrong. Anybody from uh, Delaware still in there? 135, Hammer, you're in there. And uh, Renegade was in there. Della Bear is in there. Is anybody else down here in the Delaware area? <laughs> no, I guess not. How about uh, Allentown area? Somebody up there from Allentown that hasn't keyed up yet. It's keyed up on everybody. The hell I can't hear anybody. I can hear them if you stay off the damn key. What do you think I'm up here? with this stuff here for. I don't need big power stations like you trying to come in and ruin something for everybody that we've had set up. I know you're the big man down there. Can't you please take a break for one damn night? Come on, 420. Because one day, one day, 420, your day is coming, believe me. I didn't hear the handle, but come on, come on back, Delco. Toy Tech here, Toy Tech here, running Galaxy 2547 IMAX 2000. Bye. 2547 with an IMAX, for sure. Sounding good up here, that's for dog on sure. Okay, thank you. Coyote's in there trying to get there to you, through to you, too. Coyote was trying to get to me earlier, but somebody was keying up down there and I couldn't hear him. I told Coyote, I hear you, but I get done with the other guy, but they never gave me a chance. So, Coyote, if you're on there, give it a shot. Yeah, I got Coyote now, you copy? Yes, I do, Coyote, no problem. Roger, Roger. On a TRC 457 with a quarter wave, 108 inch up in a tree. A 457 with a 108 inch up in the tree. Well, all I can say to you, fella, it must be an awful high tree because you're doing a great job. About an 8 9 mobile up in Redding, giving it another try. 20, 25 feet up in the tree. And Stand by. Best radio I've ever had. All right, thank you very much for raising your hand. I have a station up here in Redding trying now. Come on. Yeah, 8 9 in the mobile. How about it? Mr. 8 9 in the mobile. Very clear audio. Where are you up there in the Reading area, and what kind of antenna are you using? I'm working at a Stryker 955, a Francis 5-foot antenna off the mirror. We're in a big truck, and we're just north of Reading and Wyoming. missing. You got a 455, and what kind of antenna was that? I forgot. Working the Stryker radio with a Francis 5-foot antenna. Stryker radio with a Francis 5-foot antenna antenna in a mobile up there outside of Reading. You're sounding great. Ten four. where are you guys at? I am halfway between Allentown and Reading, Pennsylvania, uh, in a town called Bechtelsville. Roger? Copy that. All right. Take care. I wanted to just throw it out there. Enjoy the weekend, everybody. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We thank you for your shout. I just want to say hello to Keychain, 104 Jerry. Bring it on, 104. Yeah, I had the opportunity to listen to this uh, radio sign-in tonight, and I uh, got myself uh, on the list, I hope. Uh, 104 Jerry, out of Exeter, near Reading. And uh, Keychain, you drive safe tonight. Give me a call. I've been trying to get a hold of you, and I get no answer and no knocks on the door. Take care. 104, we're off the key. Maybe he don't want to come see you. <laughs> hey, Rare Bear, I think we all pack it up and go over to C-104. It sounds like he's opening his door. Is that right? <laughs> I think you're right.
late. Hey, we're neighbors. He's going to have to see me. You probably look across the street, huh? You see how much I eat? He wouldn't be right now. We bleed each other when we want to. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, you have to be friends when you have somebody that close. Nice talking to you guys. It's a pleasure. You should get out here more often. A lot of times we are out here on either Friday or Saturday night late. We, uh, I usually sit up around 10 o'clock at night because I live down in the Philadelphia area. It takes me a while to get up here because I'm uh, getting old and slow, you know. But anyway, we do get up here occasionally. And if you hear us on, we're usually on Channel 20 as a rule. So uh, jump in. We'd love to have you on. If this is Rare Bear, uh, you ain't that old. I met you over at Willie's. I'm older than you are. Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe if you are, then you're looking pretty good. You're damn right I am, and I'm going to stay looking that way, too. And yes, I am a hell of a lot older than you, fella. Trust me. All right, I'll ask Willie next time I'm in his company. Take care. Nice talking to you. You're seven years old. almost older than dirt. I'm 80 years old. You don't have to talk to too well, Willie. I am 80 plus. Go on and shoot for 81. I don't know if I'll make it, but we're going to try. Sure as hell we are. Come on, Jamie. Remember, 80 years old is dirt. Yeah, yeah. Is that the old man I hear out there? Hey, Remember, Jamie says you're old as dirt. I was here before dirt came. <laughs> I want to hear that old man from Slatington. That's what I want to hear. Old man lives in Northampton. I'm in Northampton, Rare Bear. Hey, Rare Bear. 169, the old man in Slatington, in Northampton. 169 in Northampton. I'm very sorry. I thought you were. I thought you were in Slatington. I don't know why. I guess I'll blame Jeffrey. Can I blame Jeffrey? He's got broad shoulders. But it's good to hear you, Jerry. You're sounding good, as usual. Good to hear you, too, dear Rare Bear. Thanks for the flowers. I hope it's not Jeffrey Blaine Bubba. Hey, J.D., where's Jeffrey tonight? Breaker. There, he checked in earlier. I got a breaker. Go ahead, breaker. Good evening, time Rare Bear. A long time no hear. All depends who you are. How about Gumby? Hey, Gumby, how you doing out there, young man? Good to hear you in there. I'm glad you can make roll call tonight. What kind of antenna are you running, and where are you, and what is that radio you're using? I'm in the Mount Penn area, and if anybody doesn't know, it's about four miles east of Reading. I'm running a Cobra 2000, and I have an IMAX 2000 on the back in the deck. I hear that. Well, you're sounding good as usual, Gumby. That's for sure. And by the way, anybody out there that's listening yet, if by any chance you would want to hear the recording of the entire tonight section, I have all of this being recorded. I don't know how well it's going to come out, but anyway, I do have it. And sometime we can either play it back or whatever or... Get a hold of me and we can make some arrangements if you would like to hear the evening's events that has been taped on my unit here. Yeah, I'd definitely like to hear that. As far as for getting on this radio, you know, like you said, like on a Friday night, I'm definitely going to do Gumby, you're going to have to get off right now. I'm sorry. This is just a roll call. Uh, you can talk a little later on this channel or another channel. I have many people out there trying to raise their hands to be in contact. Good talking to you. Your unit sounds good. And I'm going to take that next breaker. Come on, breaker. Somebody keyed up when he was on. Damn man. I said there's a fellow out there that said he has it rolling on YouTube right now. I see. Yeah, somebody else had something going on, too. I don't know who it was tonight. They said they were doing something. I have no idea. I've been talking so much here. It's uh, kind of getting kind of, I don't know what. Sam, What's up? K's and carrots. D's and David, two. A's and apple. F's and Frank. V's and Victor. 
I believe it's on YouTube. Yes, Renegade, we can work something out. I got KD too. Yeah, it's funny. Hey, Frank, Frank, and then Victor. Okay, thank you. Yep. Most nights when I'm up on this location here, I usually have my Suburban up here, but I have directional antennas on that, and uh, I have to keep turning the vehicle around to uh, dial in for most people, and uh, I figured tonight it would be better to run less power, uh, but have a half-decent antenna. We could hear most of the people anyway uh, for 360 degrees. And that's why we came up here tonight with uh, the work van versus the Suburban. Go ahead, Breaker. Thank you, Mr. Somebody key it up with you. Try it again. Okay, we're going to try it for the third time. You are in central New Jersey, right? That's a Roger. Uh, Ringo's, New Jersey. I'm across from uh, New Hope, Pennsylvania. You're in Regal, New Jersey, across from New Hope. Very good. Got a copy on you now, for sure. Anyway, uh, what in uh, an Antoine 99, about uh, 35 feet up. Our radio's uh, an RCA 2995. Go ahead. 29.95 with the Antron hanging on the roof. You're picking up a squeal over that rare bear. I am? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Maybe it's the rain, I don't know. Hey, bear. Yes, go ahead. What if I turn the audio down a little bit? Is that any better? No, it's still in there. It's really low. Let's try one more thing here. How about that one, two, three? <laughs> oh, you guys are keying up. All I hear is a lot of noise. I can't hear one guy trying to say anything to me. You say it's definitely squealing right now, is that right? Yes. No, man, you're good. <laughs> I am, huh? Yo, Rear Bear. Yeah, go ahead. Alright, do, do it that key for a second. Audio. I'm sending you a video. It's the rain or what? I can change radios here, but I don't know if that's it. Yeah, you should probably the rain. Phone in a minute or so at the most, but I send you a video. You should hear your audio. Tell me, Mark, there's something like that. A little hum. A little hum behind you. Not overwhelming in any way, but it's there. That's for sure. It wasn't before. All right. Give me about five minutes. I'm going to change radios, and if it's still squealing, then it's in the antenna. Hello. Hey, yeah, when you when you're 
silhouette of it sounds like somebody's blowing in a bottle behind you, like making that kind of noise. I'm just wondering if somebody's fucking with me. No, it's it, no, it's only when you like let off. Yeah, the one guy was saying it might be in your microphone or something, but yeah, I, can, I mean, you sound clear when you're talking, but when you kind of let off, it sounds like somebody's blowing into a hollow bottle, like that. I'm changing microphones right now. Uh, I mean. Hello, how about now? How about now, Gump? Fox, uh, laser 3000. Get it, Bear. It's not on my end, but there's somebody else in here right now, Bear. I changed microphones. Is it still doing it now? No, it's going. It's good now, Bear. What's that, Gump? All right, thanks. I'll see you. Thank you. Sounds a lot better, Bear. Okay, I changed on to a, a static 636L right now. Sounds good, don't touch it. Nice. Well, that's a good thing, I guess. The noise is gone. Breaker, breaker. Go ahead, Breaker. Zero five five. Is that Lansdale? No, that's Laureldale. L A U R E L D A L E. I'm sorry, Laureldale. That's up near Reading, is it not? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Well, ten four on that Laureldale. You're sounding good. I don't believe we've ever talked before, have we? No, sir, Mr. Rivera. We have not. Well, as I said earlier tonight, you might want to tune in sometime. Uh, we usually have a get-together, even a long-distance get-together, on uh, Channel 20 on Friday nights and Saturday nights sometime. And uh, everybody's welcome. Roger that. I'll do that. I'm so glad a lot of you guys are keying up that I have never had the opportunity to speak to. Perhaps... Uh, Another time over up here, conditions are better. We have better antenna system up here. On my part, uh, we can uh, not do a roll call again, but uh, like I say, we have a get-together every once in a while, and uh, sometimes it gets pretty interesting. We get a lot of people from a lot of different areas, and, uh, well, that's what CB is all about, is it not? I have a setting on my radio here. I don't know what it's all about. I'm ready on the low side right now. I'm going to put this thing on the high side to see if it makes any difference or none whatsoever. I just went to the high side right there, and I don't know if it's going to make a noise, sound better, or sound worse. I need one person. Uh, let's pick Sandman. How does it sound to you, Sandman? Very good. I go back the way it was, yeah. Uh, sounded much better the other way. Sounds much better on the low side, is that correct? Yes, sir. Right where it is now, it's very good. When you started on the high side, you sound like you were holding your nose. Okay, it got na Well, I'm normally nasally anyway, but it got a lot worse, is that what you're saying? Yeah, it got a lot worse, and you sound like your power actually dropped off. I blame it on the hay fever. I don't have anything like that yet. It's really foggy up here, I'll tell you that. As long as you don't fall over your two feet, you're okay. <laughs> That's happened too. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Are you up there in that place they call Happy Valley? Yes, I am. Yeah, that's why you're doing the thing you're doing. That's a good spot up there. My elevation is just shy of 1,000 feet. Yep, 10-4. I've been up there plenty of time myself playing radio. That's a good spot for it. No doubt about it. I guess you're getting check-ins from all over. Yeah, we're trying. I 
you want to ask somebody out there, uh, I'm not going to ask anybody, but, but here's the thing. Somebody sent me a text. I don't know who it is. You can send it, uh, you, you can uh, text me back who this is. The last two numbers of your phone number is 59. You said, I can't hear you, but you can hear me. Yeah, I don't know anybody's phone number. Okay, I know who it is. Thank you very much. Man, it's been a long time since I heard you, fella. Where in the world have you been? And where's your sidekick? I'm dying to hear that new setup he has. Come on. Well, he can't answer me right now, but okay. <laughs> All right. Try a rear mirror. How about it? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, we can. Uh, yeah, man, my sidekick. I don't know. I didn't hear nothing about he, uh, his new setup. He told him what he needed help to let me know. Are you kidding me? Man, he's got a killer set up. Okay, I guess things are starting to quiet down. We got we we got something accomplished tonight anyway. It wasn't uh, wasn't too bad, and uh, I it went a lot better than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a constant train wreck, but all you guys paid attention. And believe me, myself and a lot of others, thank you all for staying off the key and let somebody else key up. Because you can key up any time to me, and we can talk at any time. Tonight was just a roll call to see how it was going to go. It was, uh, well, I guess we could call it a CB quarantine party. What do you think? Hey, Robert, how many Sounds good. Thanks for doing it, Robert. Did a fine job. Who's that out there in the bushes hollering rare bear? Rare bear, this is Chris Singer. How many check-ins did we get? How many what? How many check-ins? How many people checked in? I have no idea. I did not keep count. But since I have started at 8 o'clock, I, uh, I have my iPad up here. And I have been copying the mail on everybody and recording everything on the iPad. We broke it up in two sections. The first time I was out here for 30 some minutes, then I put the Antron up, or the, uh, yeah, the Antron, listen to me, the IMAX up, and it's been 32 minutes since I put that up. So it's in two sections, my taping. Chris Stingway, it sounds like you're, you got something going on there with your echo, or not your echo, but with your audio. Uh, it's not as clear as you would like it, I don't think. What's going on? I don't know. Well, uh, maybe it's just me. No, I hear it. Hey, Stingway, you just sounded just a little bit pinched. Chris Hicks and uh, Brumall, yeah, Delco here. Just wanted to thank you for all your all you're doing there. You sound great, and thanks for doing the roll call. You're quite welcome. But I'll say this. We have to thank Renegade over in Westchester and Heart Start down there in New Jersey. They helped put this thing together. We're all members of the Quad State group down there, and most of the fellows were in here tonight. Appreciate it very much. We all had a good time, but we're going to continue. But as I say, uh, this is not all my doings. I'm up here working the microphone, but these guys helped put this thing together and had suggestions as to what we could do to make this thing fairly uh, successful. And as far as I'm concerned, it is so far. Roger that. Thank you so much, Renegade. If you're out there, thanks, John. Appreciate it. Chris and everybody, uh, God bless. Stay healthy and 73s. Quarantine radio party. Quad State, everybody across the band. Thank you for doing that tonight, my friend. Yeah, it's a huge undertaking you did up there. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You know, it's my pleasure. That's what CB is about. And I've been in this CB probably as long, if not longer, than most of you. I got into CB in 1960. 6 0. 1960, I got in here the first time ever. And we're still going strong, hopefully. So, Lord willing, we're going to continue until that last day. There you go. Thank you for help keeping it alive and keeping it real. Rare Bear, Renegade, right back at you. Thank you again, my friend. And I thank everybody that helped me get my equipment to where it is, the way it's sounding, and this and that. 
If you don't do that every day and this and that, it takes a, a lot, a lot of time, effort, and money to get things going on, to get everything set up right and stay right. So again, uh, it's been a pleasure, and uh, we're going to continue what we can. Is there anybody else out there that hasn't raised their hand that would like to? I'll go along with that. I just have to know when to get in here more often. That's a Roger. Hey, Bear, we got to get together one of these times. 2112 said it. Hey, 2112, I was thinking to you the other day. You know, since the last time I saw you, I gave you two little caps for your uh, antennas on a roof. You said, hey, hey, hey. I said, no, I'll never use them. But guess what? I got quick disconnects now on my Suburban. I don't want them back, but I don't have those caps now. I'll have to give you some back when I see you. <laughs> I don't need them because I keep my vehicle in the, uh, in, the uh, in the garage mostly, and uh, I only bring it out when it's, well, it's not raining, so I really don't need them in the garage. I do not have a leaky roof. Yeah, one, we have to figure out how to get contact information. I don't have your contact information anymore. I can't find it. I switch phones. Oh, is that what it is? I wonder what happened. You know, I heard you shoot a skip here a few months ago. I thought, damn, I got to get a hold of that guy. And, uh, I looked through my stuff. And uh, I had some numbers knocked out on the phone, too, and yours was one of them. But that's no problem, man. I know the area. Well, I don't know the area you're in, but I know where we met that one time. But uh, I'm down in the Philadelphia area now. I live in a Philadelphia suburb now. Very good. Okay, sounds good. But uh, you'll be out here, like, uh, again next, next week, maybe, right? Uh, possibility. Let's hope so, anyway. Uh, stand by a second. Go ahead, Breaker, way out there. Uh, one zero one radio, check it in, Robert. One zero radio, check it in. Antenna, and what kind of radio are you using, Mr. One Zero One? From Allentown, I presume. Yes, that is correct. I'm using a Galaxy twenty five seventeen. Galaxy twenty five seventeen. What antenna are you running tonight? I know you have many of them to choose from. Right now I'm on the Astro plane. Astro plane, roger that. Extremely muffled. And I'm waving right back to that guy. I have a guy out there that's copying me on a wire. And he can't get back to me, but he can receive. And he sends me a text every once in a while. So if I say something that sounds stupid, I'm talking to the guy <laughs> on his wire. <laughs> He's in the Pottstown area. Pottstown area, that's right. Well represented. I can hear him. Uh, in fact, <laughs> he's the tree climber, Spitfire. It takes all kinds. It works. I'll tell you what, uh, Spitfire. When he hooks up what he has there, you're going to hear him. No question, man. Believe me. He's got. He just came across some uh, good equipment recently, and uh, he hasn't had time to hook it up yet. But uh, what he does, stand by. I don't have a video. I'm just taping it on my iPad. Oh, oh, well, you know your iPad can do video. That's how I do the video games for Classic Radio Roundup. Yeah, I know, but I'm in a mobile. I can't be holding this damn iPad, keying, looking around, see what I'm doing, lighting up something here, and drinking the water. It's hard to do with only two hands, you know, Spitfire. Uh, you got to get some kind of way to set that camera up so it's just sitting there looking at your radio. Oh, all I, I Yeah, I'm having a minor issue up here tonight. I had it before. I uh, I got two bad jumpers here, and every once in a while, it uh, sets me a glow here. My audio, uh, my uh, receiver gets cut in half, and I jiggle the wire. Both of these jumpers are bad. I thought I had a good one here, but I'll take care of that shortly. Well, you're doing your thing up there. We're not noticing that part of your, your problems, but, you know, it, it wouldn't be fun if you didn't have some sort of issue going on. Yeah, 
the hell? Nobody's perfect, right? <laughs> stuff so why the hell do you need new stuff the way you work on your old stuff it sounds better than new stuff anyway that's why we run the old equipment me and my Shakespeare 740 long glass between you and Bagger man you guys got the you guys got the lock and fixing up them old radios that's for sure they sure do sound like brand new ones when you're done messing with them yeah do me a plug would you tell people to check out classic radio roundup on youtube man i'm, I'm posting to be yeah, you fellas out there are listening up here on channel 13 on Wednesday nights between the hours of 8 and 10. There is a classic radio roundup. There's a bunch of fellas get on from all over the areas with classic old radios. It doesn't mean you can't run your radio, but majority of the fellas there are running older radios, some of them antique radios that they work on, and uh, they're not Oh, I don't say great technicians, two of them are, but, you know, you like to tinker around, mess with your own stuff, see how good you can make it sound. That's what these fellas do out here on Wednesday night, Channel 13. Give it a shot sometime between 8 and 10. What do you think? That's right. And tell them about it. If you, want, if you can't reach us, check us out on YouTube, Classic Radio Roundup. And if you can't reach them, check them out on YouTube, Classic Radio Roundup. I remember, is it muffled? Is it muffled? Come back and give me more of a sentence. Okay, I was just trying to see this different microphone. I uh, still regal the uh, plug broke on it. Yeah, it's a uh, bassy. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Sounds okay. Yeah, you're okay. You just sounds a little bassy, that's all. Sounds over right here better than before. Yeah, it sounds a little better than the last microphone. Wow. How about the first rare bear holler? Go ahead. Go ahead, key up. Uh, Sandman, hey, if the fellow was asking where's that uh, YouTube video at, I think it's at KD2AFV. All you need to do is put in your search bar, classic radio roundup. Did you hear that? K KD2 AFV, Kilo, Delta 2, Alpha, Foxtrot, Uniform. Yeah, but that's not classic radio roundup. That's, that's the video gate for tonight. That's the gate for tonight, not radio roundup. Oh, 10 4. That's what Sandman up in Bethlehem just said. I guess that's the uh, what you gotta punch in. One more time on that call sign, man. I was, in, I was uh, confused. Kilo, Delta, 2, Alpha, Foxtrot, Uniform. Uh, it's Alpha, Foxtrot, Victor, not Uniform. Sorry, Vic, make that Victor instead of Uniform. Kilo, Delta, 2, Alpha, Fox, Victor. Thank you very much. We'll check it out. Yeah, that's my, uh, the round very much. I'm very much here. 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 I'm Try that again, somebody keyed on you. Channel 16, yeah, the classic radio roundup on Thursday night. Uh, it's the lower side band edition. Uh, AMManiacs.com, or not dot com, what am I thinking? AMManiacs on YouTube, that's where this uh, live gate is. Okay, Spitfire, run that by me one more time. Channel 16, lower side band on Thursday night, is that correct? Yeah, that's the classic radio side band. Classic Radio Sideband Roundup on Thursday nights, Lower Side 16. Who was that other one? AM, AM what? I, I, I got sidetracked with the caller question. It was, it was the other YouTube site. AM, what were they called? Is that AM Maniacs? Maniacs, thank you, 10-4. Roger, who we got out there? Spitfire 441, the originator, originator of the classic radio roundup video gates and the classic radio roundup charter member. Come on. Okay, cool, man. I uh, appreciate it.
appreciate the get back. Yeah, that's uh, 327 up here in Bath, right? Yeah, if you, if you would, check in uh, with our classic radio roundup on Wednesday nights and check out my video games on YouTube. Yeah, I tune in there every now and again, but uh, I got a mountain in the way, so I can't hear half of you people, so uh, yeah, I get frustrated, you know, but uh, I'll have to check in every now and again. All right, well, you just got to, you know, if you're out there a little bit, you know, you just got to make a little noise. We get a little carried away sometimes the first hour. The second hour usually lightens up a little bit, and uh, we're always listening for people out in the distance. I know I am, and I don't have no trouble hearing you here, and, uh, you know, you'll make the video gate and get my attention. Come on. Okay, where are you at, Pottstown? Up five miles northeast of Pottstown. Oh, okay, yep, uh, good copy up in Bethlehem. All right, I appreciate the get back. I'll check in uh, next time on Thursday night. Thursday night is the sideband roundup. Wednesday night is the AM roundup. AM is on 13, sideband on 16. Wednesday night, Thursday night, come on. Okay, copy the uh, Wednesday night AM, sideband on 16 on Thursday night. Okie doke. You got it, brother. Carry on. Bye-bye now. How about you there, Ram? Yeah, go ahead. You got Rare Bear. Yeah, be Wild Bill down here, way out of town, New Jersey. How the hell you been, my friend? Haven't talked to you since the last time. Yeah, a little bit earlier, but everything got a little quieter, and uh, conditions are uh, I can hear quite a few people tonight. But anyway, that you want to say top of the evening to you, and uh, you're doing a good trip. Hey, Wild Bill down here in New Jersey, tell us what kind of antenna you got. And what kind of radio you are speaking off of tonight? Uh, we're talking on a 4 about 30 feet, and we're talking on a 2995 RCI. And probably talking about, no, nah, we won't say that. 2995 with a four element beam. Roger that. And that's all we need to know. And you are down there near Williamstown or Franklinville, not that far apart, right? Uh, right on the line, so I'm in Williamstown. All right, let's keep it Williamstown. So many people go by that. That's, uh, that's a favorite spot. Yeah, you know, Franklin Township. Uh, you know, Monroe Township. We're right on the hair. You're there, all right, that's for sure. 10 boys, sound good? Uh, 60 B's on your radio, sounding good down here tonight. You take care. We thank you for the comeback, Wild Bill. 10-4. Everybody up there in, uh, in every county of Pennsylvania, stay safe and uh, stay corona-free, and hopefully uh, we get over to all this. But anyway, this is Wild Bill. Number 42, Williamstown, New Jersey, Gloucester County on the side. Hello, Wild Bill, 135 in Lower Williamstown. Stop at evening, 135. 135, you still on the air down there in uh, the upper part of Wilmington? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, just kind of cruising around with Ben. Heard your voice in there and wanted to wave at you. Sounding good over in my neighborhood there, Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. Always sounding good in your neighborhood. No matter which way I point my lead. That's the only thing that's going to help this country. Staying at home, that's for sure. Don't, uh, don't go outside unless you have to. Ten more. Ten more on that. And I'm talking to everybody can hear the, my sound and my voice. I don't care if you're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But I'll tell you what. Somebody hears me out there. <clears throat> when I talk to people that need to survive to survival. We need to stay at home. Jersey, which my beam's not pointed at. Hey, Bear, where's 64 anyway? In New Jersey. Don't know. 
that's happening I'm sure because I don't have the antenna power tonight to pick up a lot of these people that are way out there that's for sure but as Hardstart says a world famous quote I'm doing the best I can with what I got tonight tonight and I hope you've enjoyed yourself and I hope uh, that you have heard some people tonight perhaps that you haven't heard before who knows Mr. 135 down in the upper part of Wilmington and I'm off the key Tonight, Mr. Airborne. Uh, 
sound very good in my receive, that's for sure. And what is your location? You forgot that. I'm over here near Kutztown there, Roger. You're over near Kutztown, Pennsylvania. That's uh, west of Red uh, west of uh, Allentown, uh, southwest of Allentown, is that correct? Yeah, it's at for about 22 miles north of Two Wild Willie. <laughs> well, believe it or not, he's not, he's not world renowned. But you're, you're 22 miles north of Reading, okay. 10-4, he's famous, man. Come on. <laughs> Is he on the air tonight? I don't think so. It's way past his bedtime. I'll make him famous. He doesn't need to be any more famous than he is. Trust me. I've been knowing that man for 30 years. He don't need any more. I hear that, man. Good hearing you in there, everybody else. I'm just gonna copy the mail here a little bit and shut it off. You guys take care. Have a good one. Airborne, it's been a pleasure. You take care out there, and uh, we'll talk to that Kutztown station another time. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. I heard you saying, man, in there waving at you. What's up, Airborne? Yeah, we're we're so well 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 Bubba. Hey, Lynn, there. Yes, go ahead, Speedy. Hey, I got, I got two water wheels. Maybe that's what I'm talking about right now. It's time 3300. Yeah, he's wishing he had it back. <laughs> I bet. That always was a very good radio. That always was. Again, I will say, just in case anyone would be interested, I am taping this entire thing right now. Uh, it's in the three sections. The first 30 minutes since 8 o'clock, the next 30 minutes to 9 o'clock, and we're on a third section right now, just in case anybody was interested in perhaps hearing what they sound like in my receive up here. Uh, I can't uh, do anything, but somehow get it to you if you would be interested. We'll have to check it out some uh, sometime there, Rare Bear, definitely. Ah, uh, to Roger. To Roger, no problem. Yeah, we can make cheeseburgers up at TV's and watch it. I gotta take a two minute standby here.
That's just down in your end. I got a lot of copy all around from up here. Yeah, well, you're at 900,000 feet above sea level. I'm in a volcano crater. <laughs> Yeah, I know the feeling of being in a crater up here in Leah Valley. Yeah, 327 is in the same predicament. Got a radio check out there, Bear. I have a very weak copy on him. Oh, maybe I got him. Go ahead, radio check. Where are you at? North Coventry, PA. I'm in North Coventry. You ain't making it out too far, but you're making I can hear him, but very weak. He's in North Coventry. Yeah, I heard him say that. Well, it sounds like things have quieted down a little bit here. I don't know if there's anybody else out there that we've missed. I'm sorry if they are. Get your hand up here, this and that. And, uh, because I have to take a, a, at least a five-minute break up here. I got a friend up here that, uh, He's uh, requiring my attention, and his name is Henry, and Henry and I have been friends a long time, so I can't ignore him, so uh, I'm going to take about a five or ten minute break, and I'll be back. That are late. We do not recognize people that are late, even, whoo do you understand? We were here at eight o'clock. Night Train, where in the world have you been? I was not home. I was not at home. I just pulled out, Roger. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, you're here now, and that's a good thing. Well, I tell you, you way up in my cherry patch. I don't know where you're located, sir. I'm on top of the hill. I'm on top of the hill. I got a, uh, I have an IMAX up here tonight. Only 10 feet off the roof, though, but... Uh, it worked pretty well tonight. It was raining so hard up here, I couldn't hook the other 10 feet up to it because I had to hook my winch up to it to get it up in the air. I'm getting too old and weak to be able to push it up anymore because the one section of the pipe was uh, hard. So anyway, I have the IMAX sitting on top of the roof here 10 feet above, and I'm talking to you, sir. Now, are any of the guys still in there, sir? Well, I don't know, but we'll do it this way. If there's anyone out there that would like to talk to Mr. Night Train, one of the finer stations in the Putstown area, he is available now. He was going to try and be with us earlier, but he had family commitments, so he's on the air now. And if anybody wants to say the Night Train, he is available. I am off the key. All right, there, Night Train. Take a copy on 24 of your name. you down in the driveway. 24, you need to pay taxes. That is real estate taxes, or at least for a parking spot. Roger. 10-4 there, Night Train, man. You're starting to get up here, too, man. Just working this little Connex Mobile. Roger that. Yeah, sounding real good. You are, you are really up there in the, the mountains? Yeah, Roger. I'm like uh, 10, 10 miles north of Allentown. Yep, I'm up here near, near Blue Mountain. Sounding bodacious. Bodacious. I got uh, about a 20 on you, Roger. Yeah. Is that enough? Yeah, that's plenty. Well, Bear, you know, you, you, you need to pay for the needle, Roger. I'll tell you what. That man has such a good spot up there. And the best part about it is he doesn't hurt anybody around him. He doesn't have any neighbors or any close to him around there. It's just a perfect location. He can do any damn thing he wants to. You know why? Because he can. No, he's heard of my receive. <laughs> but anyhow, yeah, you sound real good up there in the mountains, man. And your radio station sounds very nice as well. 10-4 there, Night Train, man. I appreciate that. Yep, you're starting to get up here, too, man. I'm going to sit back on the side. Somebody else get back to you. 24 said that. 10 Roger there, 24, mighty fine. Night train, off the key.
conditions, man. I don't have to hear them anymore. I was listening to them before, and I, was, I actually talked to them a little, but now I can't hear them. Yeah, 
conversation down here. Come in here. There's another station or two out there that was underneath. They are standing by, ready to have a cue zone. Sorry about that, fellas. All right, channel clear. All right, train on the side. All right, yeah, we're going to have to wait, too. Sorry about that, River. No, no, no. I apologize there. I just wanted to get them cleared up that you guys are wrong, and it led to this. But anyway, all's well. starting to lift too. I can see lights from adjoining areas. So you guys are making a good trip. I guess you guys are having fun, so take care. I'm on. Were you not on earlier? No, nah, I just plugged it back in. You haven't been on since uh, 8 o'clock? No. I shut it all down because there was lightning down here. I see. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, we had a we had a pretty good time and uh, talked to a lot of folks up here. I didn't get my antenna up as high as I would like to, but I have it up 10 feet anyway, and it did pretty good. They said it was uh, 2 to 3 dB better than a magnet mount, so it gave me better ears to hear a lot of folks that were way out there. There was quite a few folks that did come in, and uh, I think we had a, a pretty good time for, for the first time outing anyway. Glad to hear you in there, Operator Ron. I'm glad you got to uh, say hello to you before you hit the sheets there. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I just plugged it all back in, and I was having some water issues going across some elements out there. I don't know. Not me, but I got to find out where it's going. But uh, when it rains, it, it pours over here. I hear that. I got I got about a half a dozen microphones with with, uh, with uh, your name on them that uh, take a look at them. And I don't know what's going on here. I'm having bad luck with microphones. In fact, I just lost one tonight. But uh, I got some others. I just want you to check out for me sometime when you have a little leisure time. Yeah, just pull up out front and drop them at the door. Will do. All right, Operator Ron, I'm going to get off the key here. Let somebody else out here. I'm getting to be a windbag. That's what happens when Henry gets a hold of you. I'll see you. Operator Ron, I'm off the key. Roger, Roger. Take care. Hello, Operator Ron. Sounding real good tonight, train. All right there, train. Me and my little unit of Grant, the Pine. Yeah, you got it set up really nice. Sounds good. Roger, Roger. Is that a Grant XL? Yep, you didn't grant XL my first original radio and a little one pill. 
your original radio. Wow, that says something. Uh, I just had a, a fella tell me he recently bought uh, bought one of those recently, and uh, he uh, has to get something adjusted in it. But uh, he says that he thinks he's going to like that thing. Yeah, this is a that's a whole real. It's got a couple extras on it, but. Uh first original radio got it down in Norristown uh, many, 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 many years ago. Well, it's got to be a good unit then. That's right. Well, if it makes any difference to anybody, the last 20 minutes, look at your watch. I have been taping this. Sometimes you want to hear what the hell you sound like up here uh, in, in this radio here on top of the hill here. Uh, just let me know and I can uh, somehow get it back to you, a copy of it. That's all I'm saying. Sounds good. Good evening, Ron. What's going on? Sounds good, light operator Ron. 200 gun. Roger, roger. Sounds good, now. See ya. All right, see ya. Good evening, Ron. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. There was a freak. A, a, a freak. Lightning bolt. They come out of nowhere. You ain't kidding. Shortly after that, I just unplugged it. And then uh, there was a whole gang of them coming down through. And I'll make like, heck with this. I just unplugged it. I heard that one, and that was it. That, that, it sounded like the roar lasted for like five minutes. Oh, it did. And man, I shook this house to no end. Yeah, I unplugged it. I, I, I was walking in the other room and I came back after I heard it and I unplugged it, everything too. We had a real shaker over here too. That was me, I was shook it. Yeah, apparently that lightning, uh, when it rumbled, it, it uh, shook uh, soldering all over to Chester County. It shook Green Lane real good. I bet. You think it was just a lightning bolt? That that lightning bolt, I saw the streak out my window and it scared the shit out of me. When was that? Had to be what five hours ago, six hours. When was it? Two o'clock? What? About two o'clock? One o'clock? I believe yeah, around that area. Man, it scared the hell out of me. You know what that might have been? There was something that came up on my phone, you know, a couple of days ago. And they were saying possibly uh, an asteroid was passing the Earth, and they said it may cause an explosion, you know, getting close to the atmosphere, so it might have been that. Hey, Siri. Everything. Yeah, because I heard it up here, too, around that time. Hello, Gumby. Hello there. Alright, so today, in West Philadelphia, the Lowe's was on lockdown, man. Somebody decided that it was the right thing to do to come in bearing a AK-47. What a jackass. Who was it at Lowe's? Yeah, he wanted to uh, express his freedom to bear arms. And that rascal had an AK-47, man. There was enough police officers around there to start a school. Well, I hope they did their duty and shot the bastard. They got him, but they didn't have to shoot him. Apparently, he must have stashed the unit somewhere within the store after having been reported because they picked him up. And then later, they, uh, they kicked us all out so that they could search the store. So we had to drop our orders and everybody had to evacuate, man, and it looked like, it looked like, I don't know what you want to say it looked like, but it was all blue and blue uh, and lights, every, uh, you know. Oh man, it was, it was like, well, we were either we were gonna be stuck in there or they were gonna kick us out. And they kicked us out, and I was glad. We found another one down on Delaware Avenue where we can get our supplies and do what we had to do. And, uh, but they, they, they had to lock it down, man. And uh, then the word was that they were going to the gentleman's house to have a word with him. Wow, this is 
a night for you to remember. Forget it, man. You know, we pulled up. I mean, it was hot. And, and they, were, they were in there calling shots. They were going all up and down the aisle. They were calling like ants. Everywhere you looked, there was a uniform. I mean, they had females. They had males. They had big guys, little guys. Everybody was in uniform. It's like, what is going on? So then one of the employees told me, she said, yeah. She said a guy came in here with an AK, and he must have stashed it somewhere because they were searching that entire store to find that unit. Once they found the unit, they said they were going to his house. How do they know where he lived? Oh, they got ways. Facial recognition, my friend. Facial recognition. They know immediately. So they tap your face into the, on your phone and send it through there. Yeah, they went to the, that's a, uh, when you got an AK-57 now, that's a terrorist thing. So they got to go to his house to see if he has any more of that terrorist uh, stuff in there. Lock his ass up. So he couldn't find the toilet paper out? I don't know, but he did express his rights. And um, I do believe that was just the tip of the iceberg. He was probably mad because he didn't have no toilet paper. Maybe he's trying to find the crowd meat. He might, have trusted, he might have trusted positive to put a coronavirus and was going to take it out on everybody. Hey, Bear. Yeah? Did you hear the news about that lady up in Luzerne County up by Five O's place? She ran that supermarket cropped all over the vegetables and all that stuff? I heard about that. Uh, there's another nut. Yeah? What was it, like $36,000 worth of where the food man had to throw out. Yeah, yeah, it was that. I thought, holy smoly. Hey, Speed. Yo. Now, how does she get to cough over all of them? I mean, couldn't somebody like grab her and, uh, you know, pin her down and, uh, you know, want to? Well, that's, that's what they did then after she ran up the aisle, coughed over all that stuff, man. Bunch of people just pounced on her.
stone collection, and I, I, I very much like having them. I don't want them taken away. But with that, I'm off the key. They all lock those people up. They're, they're insane. They set a bad example. They couldn't just stay home and have an art bark on toast. Yeah, see that? See that? There's a man with class. Yes, art bark on toast. But cheese. But cheese. I think I want mayo on the roll. The occasional anteater is not a bad idea. Maybe some bad berry jelly. Ant eater on rice. Yeah, the occasional anteater. Yeah. I think I'll just have a ham and rice, thank you. <laughs> we heard that bear. <laughs> that was appropriate, uh, Ranger. I hope so. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You want to step out of the car? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to ask you to step out of the vehicle, sir. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was one. That is one of the brightest things in my life. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really. Yeah. Uh, uh, sir, first we would like to ask you to put the the, uh, the substance down and then step out of the vehicle and then put your hands on the vehicle. Oh, no! Oh, yeah! They're not taking mine away from me, Bear. They can't have it. I won't give it to them. Step away from the microphone, sir. No one will get hurt. Right. <coughs> Somebody's out there exercising their rights. I got three pounds on them. I got more than that, and someone's playing with playback. I see. Don't feed them. Yeah, do not feed the mud ducks. Never feed them, they always come back. Yeah, never feed the mud ducks. It's that's one of the primary rules. You talking about me again, Train? No. Yeah. Hey Siri. What's the temperature? It's forty five degrees outside.